in this corner. She's strong. She's got great aim. Her mad skills are to blame. Paige. On the other side, he's big and a little crazy, but his magic powers are amazing. Fluffy. Paige steps up for the toss. One point. Two points. Three points, four points, that's gonna be hard to beat. But now it's Fluffy's turn. Three points, six points, nine points, 12 points. <gasps> Fluffy beat Paige by eight points. What a game. Paige does not look happy while Fluffy celebrates his victory. Hi everyone, it's me Paige and welcome back to Camp Carpe Diem, the online summer program. For today's video, we are going to be crafting a beanbag toss game, so let's go! So for this craft, you're going to need a big cardboard box, um, some scissors to cut the box, some tape to tape it together and decorate, a big bowl to trace and I'm also using some stickers to decorate and a pen just to guide me with where I want to cut. So first we need to cut our box in half to make a triangular prism. So you're going to cut diagonally along this line and then on the other side along the same line. You might want to ask an adult to do this for you because it's pretty tricky. It might help to draw a line first. And then you're going to take a big bowl and trace it onto the front of your box and then ask an adult to cut it for you. I cut along the tape first and then I stuck my scissors in and cut out the circle shape. So now we have the basic shape, but I don't know what you guys are thinking, but I'm thinking that it looks kind of ugly. So we got to decorate it. I'm just adding some duct tape and stickers to cover all the printing and ugly tape and all that stuff. So the second half of my box was open so I had to tape it back together before I could do anything and I just put two little strips of tape on to hold it together. You're going to need to trace that bowl again and ask an adult to cut out that circle shape. and then decorate the other one in the same way. I decided to write on top of mine, so I just put ultimate beanbag toss, you can write whatever. I'm done. Okay, so update. We don't need this. Do that. My brother and I played it, and we found that it doesn't really work with the cardboard and the duct tape because none of them stick on the board. So I'm modifying mine to have a little lip that catches the ones that hit and slide down. So what you're gonna do for this modification? Uh oh, we're running on a black duct tape. When I take, I don't want this piece to the top. I'm gonna save this piece because it's longer. We're gonna take some black duct tape, or whatever color, really doesn't matter, some tape, and we're going to 
attach it to underside of our cornhole board. Then we're going to attach our lip so that we get like a little lip that's standing up. And then a longer piece and we're going to attach it to the top and then it's going to come over and stick here. But I need white tape so that if one hits it, it doesn't like cause it to stick where we don't want it to stick. We're going to take a piece of duct tape that's like that size. So it's like three quarters of this strip here. You want a little sticky at the end. And we're going to double sag this. So, like, you know, if you're making a pit ball, you make these sheets. I'm gonna make this just like a little ribbon. And then you got yourself an adjustable lip and you actually want it about there. So it's not like really up, just a little up because if it's too far up, then you're not gonna get once it hits here because it's gonna block. So for the bean bags, you're going to need some duct tape to cover them, some Ziploc bags. I have eight a measuring cup uh, just so that they're all roughly the same weight and some rice. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to take a Ziploc bag, open it up, and we're going to put a fourth a cup of rice in. Then I'm going to seal the Ziploc bag almost all the way and let the air out and seal it closed. And move all the rice over to one corner and then we're going to fold it twice so that we have a small square. Oh, mine still has a little air so I'm going to open it up again, let that out and then seal it. I'm going to take, oops, I'm going to put this way, it stays closed. I'm going to take our duct tape and I am I'm going to tape it down the middle like so Perfect. and then Another strip. And I'm gonna put it off to one side. Fold it over. And then pinch it closed on this side. Okay, the side. Okay, that's cool. And then we're going to do People are yelling in the room. Okay, and then we're going to do that on the other side. Make four in each color of duct tape. Be really careful with the rice or you're going to get to play the fun game, pick up little grains of rice off the floor. Yay! Okay, quick overview on how to play. You're going to place your two cornhole boards on opposite sides of the room 
you and the person you're playing with are going to stand next to one of the boards and you're gonna take turns throwing your bean bags to land in or on the board. So that was actually a pretty good throw. Um, ones that land on top like this black one or get caught by the lip or just top, touching the top of the board in any way get one point. Ones that land inside get three points. But your points cancel out the other player's points. So the person throwing the white bean bag got three points and the person throwing the black bean bag got one point, but you have to do three minus one. So the person throwing the white bean bag would just get two points. And you play until 10 points, alternating which boards you're trying to. So we would pick up the bean bag and throw toward that one now. Okay, so that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Comment down below your high score for a round or the whole score for your game. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.